<sighs> Hi everybody. It's been a long time since we talked. Are we just gonna glaze over the fact that I clearly had to walk in here, turn on the camera, and that wasn't organic at all? I'm such a douchebag. So anyway, if you follow this douchebag on Twitter, or if you follow the podcast, you, you know that some things happened to me recently. And if you don't, you're like, well, Steve said some nasty things about NHL 15 like three weeks ago and then hasn't said a word since. Hey, did you see they released a patch? Good for them. Let's cut to the chase. I got hired by Sportsnet. Rogers Sportsnet. They're owned by Rogers and they cover sports in a net. At least that's what I assume. I haven't read the employee handbook yet, but I'll get to it. They don't have a handbook. The Toronto Zoo had a handbook when I still worked there. I still have it. That's one of those things where you're looking through all your stuff and you're like, oh, cool. Wait, why do I have it? Focus, Steve, talk about your job. So the reason I haven't talked to you for a while now is because of that. And not because anyone said you can't do videos anymore because I would tell them, well, no. But I just started a new job at the new home of hockey in this country. And when I was hired, it was less than a month before puck drop. Now it's way less than a month before puck drop so that there were some things that need to happen. You gotta go to work, get to know everyone, shake hands, kiss babies. Not many people bring their babies to work. So let me just fill you in on, on what, what's wagwan. So this is gonna be more of a video blog than, than like the leaf rants I do. You know, I'm, I'm, oh, you know, this is just what I'm doing in my life. I'm like an actual YouTube video blogger now. Like, hey y'all, crazy graphics. I just walked my dog in a native Cheeto today. Click like and subscribe. And I'm like, what? That's boring. Hockey, buzz like you're in sores. Ah! Moving on. I'll talk about what the job is. I'll talk about what it means for the videos and everything else. And yeah, maybe I'll throw in a little preseason talk too. So the job itself, here's the cool thing. Here's the cool thing. It's all NHL. It's all hockey. I've covered other sports professionally, writing like baseball highlight packs and basketball highlight packs. I, I did Canada versus Japan volleyball one time. It was that night I wish I had my high school gym teacher's phone number so I could be like, hey, what are the rules for volleyball again? But I like to think I know hockey and at least know what's going on in the world of hockey. And that's what this job is. It's hockey and I love it. Without getting into too much detail, I don't know how much detail I can get into because the job is internal. My job is to make sure everyone knows Wagwan in the world of hockey. So that doesn't mean I'm going to be preparing this big thing and, and putting it public and it's going to be up on the site. It means I'm responsible for telling everyone, hey, keep an eye on these things. And then what will happen is as people learn about these stories, they can call me and have me on their radio show. I don't know exactly which shows I'm going to be on or how often or for how long or whatever, but they're going to be Rogers radio stations. It's going to be anywhere, coast to coast. You might hear me call into a radio station in your town to talk about the latest stories in hockey. For example, and this is just an example, Paulina Gretzky, daughter of Wayne Gretzky, Braggers. That means she's going to have a baby. And a radio station that's owned by Rogers is, for example, Kiss 92.5 in Toronto. I could call into the Blake and Wild show, which just happens to have my good buddy from the podcast, Adam Wild, on it. And I will call in and we'll talk about that. Did you hear Paulina Gretzky? He was pregnant? No, how'd you know that? Oh, I saw it on Instagram. You follow her on Instagram? Uh, yeah. How come? Because reasons. Stuff like that. So that wasn't a great explanation, but again, it's an internal role and uh, you'll learn more when I learn more. I'm less than two full weeks in, but follow me on Twitter. I'll talk about it on the podcast. I'm sure I'll mention it a few more times on these videos. Speaking of these videos, guys, I, I can't do them anymore. They're, they're not letting me. They, they banned it. Shut up! One thing we discussed before I even took this job is these videos and the podcast are too important to give up. Without these videos, without this YouTube channel, without you, there's no me. I mean, I would continue to exist, but in terms of who I am in like sports media, that's you. That's this. That's these. And we came to the mutual agreement of, yeah, why would you stop doing them? That's dumb. So, LFR videos will continue after each and every Leaf game, this being the eighth season that's about to kick off. I cannot believe that. I'm so happy that this is the eighth season, but I'm a little depressed that there have been more seasons of LFRs eight than playoff LFRs seven. But that's seven more than I had a couple years ago, so baby steps, kids. Dubis, Analytics, Corsi, and my favorite set, Fingies Cross. So, how's timing gonna work? Yeah, you know, I'm working nights, and then I'm coming home, and when, when am I gonna do these videos? That, leave that up to me. That's my problem. But the way I foresee it, they'll probably go up in the morning like they always have. Especially if I'm gonna be shooting in this room because, well, I live with another person and that person is a school teacher and it's not nice to scream at 3.30 in the morning. Maybe on occasion I, I shoot them at Sportsnet. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet, but the videos are coming. Also, the podcasts have to get moved to the morning too. We're still figuring out exactly which days of the week, but we want to make that consistent. It's been a crazy couple weeks. So that's what's going on in my world. Enough of the me, me, me. A little bit, little bit of leaf talk. Oh, 
William Nylander. I don't know what I like more, your hair or your hands. He's obviously kind of tiny, probably not ready for the NHL just yet, but oh my god, is he gonna be so good. When they put him with Kessel, I was like, damn! Nylander? That's the sweetest ass name, Nylander. <laughs> so listen, um, can I get your number? Can I have it? Can I have it? He's still oh, just, I'm way too excited for him to make the Leafs at some point. But patience, he's too good to screw up. He has obviously been extremely impressive. Connor Brown looking pretty good. The worry with Connor Brown, it, yes, he led the OHL in scoring last year, but that doesn't always mean you're going to be a success and he's also got a lack of size and the worry there was he was just a drop in the pan OHL success. <laughs> well, he looks pretty good. And his Twitter handle is breeze 2 grease The guy's just a beauty. I called the Nylander Kadri Brown line from the other night the fake ID line. I like to think I'm still a pretty young guy and I see that line hit the ice I'm like damn whippersnappers. You know back in my day we didn't have any shootouts and we just had the tie. And you paid for tickets with yak's milk. Cost you four or five pints for the Thing, but once you got in there, that, that Swedish fellow, Sundin, he, he was, he was, he was something. Why did I give him this for? I don't know. And, and, Antoine Bebo. Pucks just be bounce off of him. And I like that because he's a goalie. But of course, we've got to go through this every preseason. It's just the preseason. And this, this, my friends, is just the beginning. So thank you very much for watching. It's great to talk to you again. I, n I never want to spend that much time apart from you ever again. I mean that. I mean, I, I really, I want to take this seriously. I don't want to fix things with, okay, put down the camera. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to talking to you sooner rather than later. And let's just drop the damn puck. How great would that be if Gary Bettman was just like, ah, oh, screw it. Let's start the season two weeks early.